hey welcome back to the wild and free 2.0 i'm out here today and i need to make sure that my solar 4g 5 whatever cameras are actually working non-stop i've had some issues with cell phone signal service you know hit or miss here and there a little bit of stagnation on it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a mount that's gonna push these off of the trees, give it some distance, and I can get 360, 100% view without shadowing or whatnot from the actual tree that I've been mounting them to. You can kind of see in the background over there, that one. I'm gonna move that and I'm gonna reposition it. And it's gonna come out and give me some more, uh, more length on it. That way I can actually utilize this camera. And plus, put the solar panel into the actual view of that sun that's behind us so that way i have full charge quickly i'm having troubles with this one it'll take forever to charge because well it's shaded pretty much all day long so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build this stand right now it's gonna be pretty simplistic just a couple of two by fours a couple of angles a brace a back and an arm that stings out and i'll put this around the end of that well yeah i'll do that i wish i could have milled these but I don't have the mill set up. So what you need is you're gonna need some screws. There's my bits right there. I couldn't find them, so I went and bought all brand new ones. I have duplications on tools and duplicates because of traveling for 10 years on the road, almost. I'd always forget something and I'd end up having to go buy another one and another one and another one. You're gonna need a saw. Make sure you get the battery. And a drill, which in the truck so i'm gonna grab the drill a battery i've got my screws i've got my tape measure in the truck let me grab those tools and we'll be right back and we'll start marking this up to do some cuts all right so i've got everything i need i got my bits miscellaneous ones i've also got my bit that'll go into this guy i've got my safety glasses per se on safety squints yeah Sometimes I do that. Got me a battery, which is gonna go into our saw. Got me a writing utensil, tape measure, and my drill, impact, that I'll use to screw these together. Now I'm not gonna pre-drill anything. We'll see how it works. So now we just gotta figure out what we want. So we know, we have these screws off the ground before I run over them. All right, so we got our screws. I'm thinking probably around 18 inches against the tree should be fine. Go ahead and mark that off. I'm not worried about being square or anything right now. I've got a square somewhere, but I can't find it. So we're not gonna use it. We're gonna use our icrometers. All right, let's go ahead and make our first cut. So that's the back. We're gonna use this up against the tree. So now I need to come off of the tree like such. We'll screw these two together right there. And I'm gonna put a brace in here. And actually that's way too far out. I'm thinking maybe, let's use our icrometer again. Let's see if that looks good and get a measurement. That way we can duplicate this if we want to. Yeah, this should get plenty. So I'm gonna go another 18 inches on this. And actually, that back doesn't really need to be that big, but we'll leave it. And we'll just use this piece as a cut. So uh, I'm not gonna get crazy with a bunch of angles. We'll just make this one 16 inches. I think 16 is fine. Do this a little scribble here. Cut this one. There we go. Now it'll almost give us two identical pieces. Pretty close. Look at that. Look at that. Icrometer. Icrometer. Alright, so that'll go like that. We'll get screwed there. 
and I just need to make two 45s. Two 45s. Or, you know what? Let's use this. Yeah, because we don't need that much. That'll give us 18 inches off the end. Two more inches. So I'm gonna mark my angles because I always forget what direction I need to be cut. And we're just going for close. Nothing crazy. So on the saw, we've got this little angle finder, right? So I'm gonna set this to 45 degrees. That'll loosen it. And we gotta take this, ow. Put it to 45. Come on. Give that a nice ooga dooga. Walk it down. And as you can see, we need this cut. So we're gonna cut this one first. It needs to go the other way so we can turn it over. We're gonna use some ooga dooga force and hold this down. We're gonna get close, it's not gonna be perfect. Don't be like me. Get a new blade. Yeah, get a new blade. New blade and a fresh battery. can do it. Sometimes your guard slows you too. Almost there, almost there. We are that close, that close. Should be so much easier, right? It would be if it was a clean new blade and a good battery. little chunk is getting us. Couldn't even slice butter with this blade. Oh my goodness. And that's folks is how you do it. You give it a waka cha. Alright. Keep the dust off us. Now we got our uprights. Boom, boom, a boom, boom, boom. Got that, got that. Beautiful, beautiful. 
and try to put the whole thing back in your tailgate. I can't find the screws. New tailgate. Just replaced it. And uh, Michaela put them somewhere. I don't know where. I think in the truck somewhere. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and prep out this and get my screws ready to go. So I'm going to get me a rough alignment here. That way I can put my screws in. Makes it much easier. Makes it nice with this hole in there, you can go right through. Restarting them screws make it nice. Get a couple more, put them over here on the top. And we're also gonna put another one at an angle, that way we can go into the tree. Sink. Both directions. Now we're going to put the ones in the bottom. We've got a couple more to do. Okay, coming down that way. We need two more in here. See what I did there? My screws are backwards. Man. Oh well. Good enough. That's probably better we don't because we're going to need to hit the tree, right? All right, so now we got this. All right, so now we've got our mounts. We need to get our solar attachment for our panel. And this thing comes with some beautiful little screws. And on this one, you have to use the little screws. On this guy, <laughs> it becomes a pain. All right, so we're going to put this up here. Let's take a look. Where's our camera at? So our camera can mount just like that. So we want this guy out here. We're gonna need a Phillips. That's not a Phillips. Phillips, where are you? I think this one's too big. Way too big. Let me get my new ones. Brand new set, Harbor Freight. Let me sharpen this knife. It is dull. Maybe that'll be enough. Two stragglers over here. The whole kit. And a couple of adapters. Which I don't know why. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why they didn't just put these in there. 
Interesting. These don't even fit. Maybe that's why they didn't put them in there, because they don't fit. Yeah, that works. Crash up. Alright, so we got our Phillips. Which we're going to need on this anyway, so it's good that we got a smaller one. How convenient these holes. I just got it stuck in the tailgate. <laughs> that was fun. Alright, let's get our three screws going. China screws. China screws. See, I've been meaning to put these up on these since I bought them. No time. There we go. Maybe give it a few more ooga doogas. There we go. Perfect. So there is our solar panel. And now this thing needs to orient the correct direction. So it only goes in one way. Because our alignment holes right there. So we can put it just like that, which is what I want to do. Put it right on the end. And it comes with two of these little handy dandy screws again. And for the most part, they suck. But we're going to be gentle. There we go. Boom. Alright, let's put our camera on there. That way all we gotta do is pull it up in one shot and we're done with our install on the tree. Pretty sure I can hold it. Well, we're hoping, right? solar panel off because I'll need to direction it to the sun, of course. Let's use our adapter here to see if we can't get this tighter. Ooh, look at that floppy floppy. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Now it's stuck. Probably gonna need this to get in there. That'll help us. Or actually, we can just throw this in there. The long one. Noise. Real noise. All right. So now we got to go over there. And so here we are. Super sketch. I'm not gonna show you what I'm standing on. those out of the way and let's get this thing screwed down so it's gonna be kind of high so I'm gonna mount that solar up on top they make it pretty simple in this kit 
for the solar for this uh, package. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, mount this thing down, get it set, and then it has another swivel right here that I can tighten this down with. And I want my swivel to go that way, ish. So I can adjust it like that. And we got that sun right there. So I think I'm gonna go about that high. I can't go any higher. Good thing I pre-drilled those screws. So, get it down. We're gonna take a step back very carefully like I'm floating, levitating, and uh, see how good it is. Balance. Looks like we're parallel to the earth and the universe. I'll put a couple more screws in the top side. Shouldn't be too much wind grabbing this. Well, let's try it out and see. All right, so that sun is perfect right there. Lock that down. Well, lock this guy down. And that should charge up every morning, first thing. And we're gonna take this cord, and I probably should grab some zip ties. We're just going to wrap it once. Bring our cable through everything. Back around the other side. Plug in the solar panel. Power the camera up. That simple. Just these little Wi-Fi antennas. And we should be good. Should be good. Tuck that around over there. Let's go check it on the uh, display and see what we've got. So, magnificent. It works great. I can get more of a 360 view. I can see down in the creek. I can see all the way down this road now. I can see all the way down that road. For the most part, coming in. See my camper. Yeah. Good. This was a good idea. I'm glad I finally did it. I'm going to do this on more of them too. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button and share with your friends. We appreciate everybody that's taking care of liking and subscribing and sharing. And if you have any questions or comments on this particular camera, link is down in the description of where I got it from the Amazon thing. And yeah, awesome. If you can think it, you can dream it, you can build it.